Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video, we'll see how to handle redirects in your Next.js application. We'll be seeing both a Next.js project with app router and with page router also. Let's first start with our pages router. So as you can see here, I have a pages folder here and inside I have index.tsx file. I just simply create a page here. Let's export the default function here. Default function index. It will return some HTML. Now, since we are focusing on read how to do redirects in your server side, so I'll write the get server side props method here. Export a sync function. get server side props so inside this we can write our code for redirect so we'll be writing the code to redirect from get server side props so this thing is primarily useful when we want to do a server side web, server side redirection without going to the client side if you, let's say on page load and all you want to see or like you want to check if the user is authenticated if the user is authenticated or let's say if the user is not authenticated you want to redirect them to some other page user is authenticated user is not authenticated you simply redirect yeah okay so here i'll just see find the function like a dummy function which for the time being returns false yeah now here we need to redirect we we'll simply return so here we can simply return and we can put in redirect here inside we can provide the destination which for the time being let's say it's yes google.com we also have an option to add whether this redact is permanent or not permanent once what this simply does is it tells the search engine or your client to whether this redirect should be cached or not for future references or not that's the purpose of this permanent thing so now this should be working fine well now just let's run this thing and see this thing in action so i'll just load localhost 3000 simply redirects to google.com so this redirection happens on the server side so the client side is not really rendered here now this thing it was on the pages router now next day is 13 and all they have introduced something called app router so if you are using app router this this won't really work in there so let's see how it works in app router for using app router i'll simply rename this thing for the time being and we have the app router here inside i have one page So this is our app router and this is the default page. If I restart my application, you should be able to see it running. I go to local 3000. That should rule that should load the app router's default page. Yeah, this one. Now in order to redirect, it's pretty much straightforward here. We simply need to add in something called redirect which can be imported from next navigation it simply takes a parameter where you can specify you can specify the url to which it needs to redirect and the redirection type which you can which is not really which, which is optional Simply do a redirect. If 
and go to here, go to localhost 3000. It simply redirects to google.com. So that's how you redirect on your server side in the pages router and app router in your next day's application. So I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please support the channel by liking the video and sharing the video. Thanks for watching.